Hey, smileys. Hey. Traditional store-bought deodorants can contain a lot of harmful chemicals in their ingredients like parabens, aluminum, and fragrance. This homemade deodorant recipe uses safe, natural ingredients to combat sweat and body odor. This is an easy DIY recipe that combines arrowroot powder, baking soda, organic shea butter, and coconut oil for a natural deodorant that actually works. I started with a bowl of hot water and placed my mixing bowl inside to help the ingredients melt together. Start by adding two tablespoons of shea butter, followed by three tablespoons of coconut oil. I used a liquid coconut oil here, but solid coconut oil works as well. There are many variations of this natural deodorant recipe and most of them use coconut oil as the base, but I did find one recipe that actually used cocoa butter instead. Hmm. Mix the shea butter and coconut oil until blended well before adding in the other ingredients. If you're not into DIY, there are many natural deodorant options available for sale or try using plain baking soda or a mixture of cornstarch and baking soda as an alternative. Once blended, add in three tablespoons of baking soda. Baking soda is well known for its ability to absorb odors, which is why it is such a popular ingredient in natural deodorants. Also, add in two tablespoons of arrowroot powder, which thickens the deodorant, but also absorbs moisture and keeps odor to a minimum. If you don't have arrowroot powder on hand, use organic cornstarch instead. It's perfectly fine. Once all ingredients are added, blend well until the mixture has a smooth, creamy texture. You can also customize your deodorant's scent with essential oils or leave them out if you prefer to be unscented. I added a few drops of lavender essential oil, of course. Lemongrass and sandalwood are great options as well. Once you're all done mixing, the texture should look something like this. Nice and smooth. Next, pour the deodorant into a glass container for storage. It actually takes some time to solidify, but you can speed up the process by putting it in the fridge, but it does not have to be stored in the fridge. Here's what it looks like once it's all solid. To use, just warm a small amount between your fingers until it turns liquid and apply it to your armpits or use a wooden spatula or stick. You can also pour it into an old deodorant stick for easier use. It's totally up to you. Hope you found the video helpful. If so, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you like good vibes. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.